What's up, bays and bros? Welcome back to another episode of Food is Bay. Today we're in Swanee, Georgia at Flavor Rich, where Chef Chris is serving up the best chef-inspired street food in the city. Let's go. What's up, bays and bros? London James here for Food is Bay, and you already know. It's, it's about, about to go down. Right now, we're at Flavor Rich right here in Swanee, Georgia. I told you I was coming back. Chris is perfection. We definitely have to come here and do a full episode of Food is Bay. Y'all probably ain't think it was gonna be this fast. <laughs> Put your boys in the building. Yo, Chef is cooking up some amazing food today. I know y'all saw that lobster roll. We gonna get way more in depth with that. But there's so much more stuff on this menu. So listen, we gonna keep this intro short because you know I like to talk. Let's go. We got shrimp and waffles with a peach cobbler butter. We got our signature Brussels sprouts. Our sweet potato souffle with a marshmallow on top. Your signature crab cake, no fillers. You got an ahi tuna, uh, Asian slaw, yum yum, sesame ginger, and you got our very own personal favorite, lobster roll. Woo. What's up, Baze and Bros? Listen, did I not tell you it was gonna be a feast today? This is the reason I had to come back immediately, because the food, uh, the lobster roll, we gonna, we gonna get to that. But look at the claw meat that's just, just sitting on the top. This joint right here, I cannot wait to get into. We're gonna get into the lobster roll first. Why Why do anything else? I mean, they are not skip, skipping when it comes to the lobster. It is packed, bro, super packed. This bread is so buttery, so fluffy. It's like a pillow of, of butter heaven. Let's, oh, let's, get, let's get into it. Oh. If you don't do anything else with your life, I need you to stop by here and get this uh, lobster roll. I've had lobster rolls in a lot of different places, but he is just doing something different when it comes to this. It's so juicy, so tender, so so flavorful. I'm stuttering. Because <laughs> my taste buds are overwhelmed. So we're going to move on to the shrimp and waffles. This is their play on chicken and waffles. They do do chicken and waffles. Now, I know I'm supposed to use a knife and fork, but you know how we get down. Oh. This waffle just melts away as you eat it. That dang old waffle's so good, I ain't even really studying the shrimp. This, oh, look. These jumbo shrimp. These ain't, <laughs> these ain't shrimp, these prawns. Oh. When Chef was talking earlier, he talked about Cajun influence. And you get this all through the shrimp. That Cajun flavor, that spiciness, that saltiness. He's one of them shrimps that's so good because they're fried. You go ahead and eat that tail. The batter on this shrimp is freaking amazing. I'm trying to think of a batter you can compare it to. Way better than Popeyes. This ain't Zatarain's. This is probably like a, a homemade mix. Now he won't give the uh, secret away. I don't know if I'm really doing this justice. <laughs> That's how good it is. You gotta come to Flavor Rich. Oh my God. We gotta keep going, we gotta go. We gotta go. So right now we're gonna move on to this crab cake. Something he said that was so important that he said there is no filler. This is pure lump crab. And you actually can see that there's no filler there. You can see there's no filler because the crab cake <laughs> almost looks like a hamburger. Absolutely no filler here, baby. Look, and as you squeeze it, it's, just, it's crumbling apart. All right, y'all, let's get into this thing. <laughs> yep. Best crab cake ever. I had to look down at it just to make sure I was eating the crab cake. And now I'm looking at y'all like y'all got the answers. This dang old crab cake sandwich, I had to go talk to the chef. I had to go talk to him. I, I don't know if I'm gonna ever be able to eat like a regular cat crab cake again. The juiciness and the way this thing fell apart. Hold on, let me just have a moment with this thing. I'm gonna get back to y'all. Oh man, yo, I'm in love. I'm in love. This right here embodies the idea of flavor rich. Super rich flavors. It's like he found a sweet spot with all the seasoning. The thing I'm loving about this is the consistency. Look how consistent everything has been and just tasting freaking amazing. I need to speak to the restaurant owners and chefs right now. This is the type of consistency you need. Totally different dishes but all at a super high standard. This is one of those places where you can come and go down the menu and order, and you will not go wrong. We're five dishes in already, and nothing I've tasted has been subpar. 
I don't think I'm really doing as much justice need, that needs to be done in this video. You gotta come here, you have to experience it for yourself. You can take my word for it, but this is that spot. Right now we have the sweet potato souffle with one of the largest marshmallow slices I've ever seen in my life. I didn't even know they sliced marshmallows this way. Ooh, we gonna start with this. All right, let's, oh, yes. Look at that. Breaking that nice little pillowy marshmallow. We hitting this all at once. I'm trying to talk to y'all, but I'm salivating right now with anticipation regarding this bite I'm about to have. Here we go. This dude is killing me, man. I'm trying to keep it together, as you can see, but this souffle is blowing my mind. Yo, y'all gotta come here. This right here. <laughs> Listen. Super rich, creamy, smooth, all together sexy. That marshmallow with the slight crunch on top, when you bite that and then you get into that souffle, first of all, my entire mouth is just coated with that sweetness and that richness. It's like the best sweet potato pie that you've ever had in your life, okay? This is not patty pies. Um, hold on, I, I gotta get my brother into this. <laughs> wow. Bro! Yes. Chef got it. Chef See, okay, got it. listen, we don't put on fronts for food. We don't do this because the people are here that we at the restaurant. You see he licking the spoon again. So he about to go in again. That joint is freaking perfection. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I gotta do? This perfect pillowy sexy waffle. I was about to call it a waffle. That was that has a little sweet vanilla tinge to it with the powdered sugar and then that butter sauce again on top. We're gonna take the waffle. Oh my god. This right here. I don't even know if I should, I probably should just save this for the end because I might have to go home after this. Listen, hold on. Oh, look at that. Yes, man. All right, so we're going to get into this ahi tuna sandwich. All right, so I cut the sandwich in half. That's your cross section. That's the best I can do. My hands are still a little bit unsteady from after eating what I just ate, but it is perfectly seared. All right. Let's get into this ahi tuna. I definitely taste the Asian influence in this bad boy. All those flavors working together, you can't really break that down. You can just tell that he has the skills, like he said, he's classically trained, and he fused all that stuff together to bring you this tuna sandwich. But my taste buds are just firing off right now. It's like a fireworks show going off right now with this. Forget watching me. Y'all need to stop the video right now and just come. Uh, you're here with Chef Chris, uh, owner of Flavor Rich Restaurant and Flavor Rich Food Truck out here in Suwannee, Georgia. Uh, we're here to show you some good food, some good tasty food that you will never find anywhere else. So I went to culinary art school, was trained classically in the French technique. Uh, so that was the foundation, but throughout time and family, uh, influence and traveling. Um, I kind of like a little bit from a lot of different cuisines. And so what that would be is Asian, uh, Spanish food, a little bit of soul food, um, fine dining for sure. It's just, it's just everything combined in one. So we got started in the food truck industry because um, I was actually a chef at a major re uh, hotel in Atlanta and I got tired of just dealing with the nine to fives and having to water myself down for people. And so I um, then bought a food truck, left it in my backyard for a while and then just knew and had dreams of actually building it and growing it to something major. So the success of the food truck allowed me and actually paved the way for the restaurant. It actually got us a lot of exposure. We did Super Bowl Atlanta here in Atlanta, down in Centennial Park. All the big festivals in Atlanta were there. Come to Flavor Rich Restaurant out here in Swanee, Georgia, 1175 Buford Highway, Suite 130, Swanee, Georgia 30024. Make sure you come out and see us because you're going to get everything you want and then some. I guarantee you that. And at the end of the day, man, I'm just providing awesome food. And, and I, the atmosphere is so dope, man. I just want you to have an awesome experience. It's a vibe. We'll catch y'all later.
All right, Bays and Bros, so that's going to do it for another episode of Food is Bay. Make sure you stop by Flavor Rich in Swanee, Georgia. I'll make sure all the information is in the description below. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video. If you're not subscribed to the Food is Bay channel, what is you doing? All right? So for Food is Bay, I am London James. Until we eat again, salute.